So we talked about a number of different functions that we can use inside of Excel to automate the creation of formulas within our Excel worksheets. The very first one that we talked about was the sum function. And I had mentioned that the sum function is the most common, the most popular function used inside of Excel. Now, Microsoft knows this. So they've created a tool inside of Excel to help us automate the use of the sum function. This is called auto sum. Take a look. I'm going to wipe out my totals here. I'll get rid of these. That's uh, what B10 to E10, just delete them. And I'm going to delete out my totals here as well. For the, the rows, that's E5 to E9, just delete, gone. And I got the errors back again because it's trying to calculate something that's not there. Um, but I'm going to rebuild them. But I'm going to do it in a slightly different way this time. Take a look. So we could type it in, equals this plus this plus this. We could use the formula bar and find the sum function and fill in the arguments, tell what range of cells to add up. But remember, the auto sum, most widely used function. We have a feature called auto sum that's essentially going to do this for us. Take a look. I'm inside of B10. This is where I want to sum up the January amounts. Now, I'm going to go to the formulas tab. Right next door to the insert function button we were looking at earlier, I have auto sum. It's a big E. I give that a click, and it's going to sum up the data. It already grabbed it. Equals sum B5 through B9. That's right. Yay. I hit my enter key, and I'm done. 1700 right there. Let's try it again. I'm going to click in the side of cell C10, back to formulas, back to auto sum, summed it up, C5 through C9, hit my enter key, done saving you time, becoming more efficient. One more time, this is just too quick. Into D10, formulas, auto sum, equal sum, D5 through D9, hit my enter key, done. Love it. Now you might be thinking, you know what, why didn't you start with this? That's super easy, it's a single button press, it does it for you. Well, there's building blocks. Understanding the concept of what a function does, how the sum function works, very good information. Now, I love the auto sum feature, but remember those building blocks, understanding conceptually what happens when you sum something up. It's only going to benefit you, and here's the reason why. I'm going to hop up to E5. I love Excel, I love the auto sum feature, but sometimes it doesn't do things quite right. Watch this. So I'm in E5, I want to sum up the rent. So back to formulas, back to auto sum. Ooh, did it do it right? Equal sum, B5 through B10. That's right, I, I grabbed the rent there. What am I talking about? It did it right, I'll hit my enter key. 3600, ding. All right, let's try this again. Phone, formulas, auto sum, B6 through D6, summed up the phone. It's looking good, looking good. I'm gonna hit my enter key, ta-da. Now, let's try this a third time. All right, so now I'm down at credit card. How does Excel know where to look for the data? How does it know what you want it to sum up? It's pretty smart, right? I mean, it's done it correct so far. I'm going to go to formulas, back to auto sum. I'll give it a click. Yay! Oh, wait a minute. Did it do the right range? E5 to E6. That's the cells above it. I want to sum up the credit card. Well, no big deal. Excel, by default, looks up first for two or more numbers. If it finds two or more, that's what it uses. Now, because there's two or more up there, it uses those, and that's not what I want. So all I need to do is grab the correct range of cells, B7 to D7. That's it. I'm just correcting the auto sum. Hit my Enter key, and I'm done. Let's try it one more time. Go back up to formulas, auto sum, grab the incorrect range of cells, I'll grab the correct, hit my enter key, ta-da, I'm just correcting it. But understanding the fundamentals, the building blocks, why and how the sum function works is going to help you in situations like this. The auto sum button is great. I love it. Just make sure that it's grabbing the correct range of cells. Try it out. Use the auto sum function to complete your calculations here. Just make sure it's looking at the correct range.